every bluefin tuna tested in the waters off California has shown to be contaminated with radiation that originated in Fukushima. Every single one. Over a year ago, in May of 2012, the Wall Street Journal reported on a Stanford University study. Daniel Madigan, a marine ecologist who led the study, was quoted as saying, the tuna packaged it up the radiation and brought it across the world's largest ocean. We were definitely surprised to see it at all and even more surprised to see it in everyone we measured. Another member of the study group, marine biologist Nicholas Fisher at Stony Brook University in New York State reported, we found that absolutely every one of them had comparable concentrations of cesium-134 and cesium-137. That was over a year ago. The fish that were tested had relatively little exposure to the radioactive waste being dumped into the ocean following the nuclear melt-through that occurred at the Fukushima Daiichi plant in March of 2011. Since that time, the flow of radioactive contaminants dumping into the ocean has continued unabated. Fish arriving at this juncture have been swimming in contaminants for all of their lives. Some bluefin tuna off the California coast are carrying radioactive contamination from that nuclear plant that started leaking after last year's earthquake in Japan. ABC's Lindsay Davis here with the details. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. Researchers admit they were not expecting this. In fact, this is the first time such a large migrating fish has been shown to carry radioactivity so far. And the scientists involved say the results are unequivocal that Fukushima was definitely the source. Researchers are calling the finding startling. Bluefin tuna arriving off the coast of California all the way from Japan carrying radioactive contamination, apparently leaked from the Fukushima nuclear plant. We were quite surprised, but there it was. Researchers from Stony Brook University made the discovery about five months after last year's quake and tsunami. The fish had all made the 6,000-mile journey across the Pacific to the U.S. The scientists assumed the radioactivity would have been long gone by the time they arrived because big fish like bluefin tuna, which can weigh more than 1,000 pounds, would typically shed radioactive substances easily. But what they found were levels of contamination 10 times higher than amounts measured in previous years. Still, scientists say the levels are well below safe to eat limits and are not likely to affect humans. I imagine that the consumption of these tuna would be far, far below the radioactivity that you would get from, for example, one dental x-ray. There are other radioactive foods that we eat on a regular basis, bananas, Brazil nuts, carrots, green leafy vegetables, and we're still seeing levels that are below levels of concern even in those foods. Researchers say the real test will come this summer when they repeat the study on bluefin tuna that have been swimming in radioactive waters for about three times as long. They also plan on testing other migratory animals to see what those levels so no are. no danger yet, but we have to keep an eye on it. That's exactly right. Radioactive cesium doesn't sink to the sea floor. So fish swim through it and ingest it through their gills or by eating organisms that have already ingested it. It is a compound that does occur naturally in nature. However, the levels of cesium found in the tuna in 2012 had levels 3% higher than as usual. Measurements for this year haven't been made available, or at least none that I have been able to find. I went looking for the effects of ingesting cesium. This is what I found.